Hey, what's up guys? This is Hewitt Tomlin with Team Builder. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to incorporate functional range conditioning uh, into Team Builder. So whether you use Excel or another software application, um, this video should be helpful because it's showing you the actual process. Uh, but in this case, we're going to be using Team Builder. So um, if you don't have a Team Builder account, uh, you can start a 14-day trial, and if you have one, then obviously you can log in and follow along. So the first thing I'm going to do is decide who to program for. So obviously in Team Builder, we can program for teams or for groups of clients. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and program just on an individual's athlete calendar. So let's say that tomorrow is the 18th. We haven't built the session yet, but I know I want to do some FRC. What I can do is, is I'll click Add Exercise. And if I have videos, um, then I can go ahead and pull them up here as well. So I, I went to YouTube and found a video for Pails and Rails from uh, this YouTube channel called The Prehab Guys. And then I found another video for Shoulder Cars, and this is from um, Melissa Ray Fitness, I believe. Yep, Melissa Ray. So you can create your own videos by just starting your own YouTube channel. You can record yourself on your phone and upload those videos straight from your phone. Uh, but in this case, I'm just using these YouTube videos for this example. So once I have my videos kind of picked out, uh, then on the calendar, what I can do is, is I can go ahead and write the name of the exercise I want to create. So in this case, I'll say pails and rails. This doesn't exist yet. So I'll go ahead and click add, which adds it to my database. And then you might as well tag it while you're here. So I created a tag called FRC, and that kind of keeps all my functional range conditioning exercises under one tag, which keeps it neat. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is take this video and copy the URL. And then I'm going to paste it into this video link box. And I just click this green check mark to test it. It looks like it works. And then now for sets and reps, I'm just going to do one by one and write an instruction that says follow the video since the video is kind of taking them through the routine. The last thing I'll do is I'll mark this a completion lift, which means that the athlete only needs to check a checkbox to say that they did this routine as opposed to typing in sets and reps, which wouldn't really make sense here. So let me go ahead and add that. And then let me go ahead and add the next exercise, which is shoulder cars. All right. So if I can spell this correctly, I'll go ahead and add it in. I'll say one by one, uh, tag it, FRC. So, you know, I'm, I'm simultaneously creating an exercise for my database as I'm programming it on the calendar is what I'm doing here. And then the last thing I do is I just take this uh, video and I paste it in, check it really quickly. Yep, it works. I'll say follow the video. And then last thing is add completion list. Now, I just have to do this one time. And then if I'm programming this again, it's a lot more simple. If I do this again, I just type in pails and rails one by one. And then I can just add to workout. The, the whole process before that was just the process of adding it to your database. But from there on, you just do one set by one rep, completion lift, and you're good. So now that I have this built on Rocky Balboa's calendar for the 18th, I want to see what this looks like. Of course, athletes access Team Builder on their iOS and Android device. So when they log on to that device and they go to the 18th, uh, what they'll see is, is pails and rails one by one. It says follow the video. And they'll just click this video icon. And then they can watch this video right then and there uh, and follow along. And if they do it, they just hit a checkbox, move to shoulder cars, pop up in the video, follow along with the video. And then once they do it, they hit the checkbox and then maybe they can move into their strength training or conditioning or what else, whatever else you have planned for that day. So I hope this video was helpful. This is a really easy way to get uh, functional range conditioning movements out to uh, athletes when they're training remotely or even in the facility and incorporating your video or other video in order to do it, which is sometimes uh, a big help for athletes when they train on FRC.